2022, Anglo-American Platinum successfully navigated numerous headwinds and achieved several important milestones, continuing to set the business up for success. Now, while we reported no work-related fatalities at managed operations during the year, we sadly lost Julian Cicigne, who passed away from a workplace injury sustained in 2021. And Reino Malaichi, who died in a workplace accident at the non-managed operation Mudikwa. I am encouraged though, by the improvements recorded in our safety performance with the lowest ever number of safety incidents in the history of our business. This demonstrates the progress we are making on our commitment to zero harm and ensuring every colleague goes home unharmed every day. Despite a tough macroeconomic environment and some operational challenges, our results for the year illustrate the resilience of the business and the ability and commitment of the Platinum team to reimagine mining to improve people's lives. We saw a strong production performance from our Unki and Mototolo operations, achieving new records. Output was lower at Amandelbult due to planned infrastructure closures, while lower ore grade at Moholokwena impacted its production in the year. Third-party producers also delivered lower volumes, and this brought our total metal in concentrate production to 4 million PGM ounces for the year. A delay in the rebuild of the Polokwane smelter because of substandard materials, as well as ESCOM load shedding, resulted in total refined production of 3.8 million PGM ounces, with sales in line with refined production. Our EBITDA was 74 billion rand, driven in part by the second highest rand basket price on record. As seen globally, however, our profitability was impacted by above inflation cost increases in utilities and consumables. Return on capital employed remained strong at 111%. From this base, we have provided industry-leading returns to our shareholders with a total dividend of 30 billion rand or 115 rand per share declared for 2022. That represents a total payout ratio of 62% of headline earnings. Our contribution to society totaled 131 billion rand for the year, including 19 billion rand paid in taxes and royalties, 17 billion rand on capital investment, and 15 billion rand in salaries and wages. We spent 25 billion rand on local procurement and another 600 million rand on community development. We also successfully implemented a new employee share ownership plan, TOBO, that gives colleagues a direct stake valued at 6.5 billion rand in the business and aligns their work with our purpose, values and strategic goals. Our contribution to society is not only measured in rand terms, but also through our actions that establish Anglo-American Platinum as a leader in ESG. We continue to support communities through innovative partnerships, including the 25 billion rand Willifons River water project between government and the mining industry, which aims to accelerate the delivery of potable water to water-stressed communities and will provide 380,000 people with clean water and create 42,000 jobs in Limpopo once in the implementation phase. We published our first annual climate change report highlighting the progress we're making to meet our 2040 carbon neutrality targets. The Initiative for Responsible Mining Assurance, or IRMA, remains critical for us allowing for independent assurance of our operations to meet very strict ESG criteria. We are on track to have all of our operations IRMA verified by 2025. From the point of view of sustainability, we also continue to develop the market for hydrogen energy products, launching the world's first hydrogen-powered mine haul truck in May last year. The new gen truck which is currently being trialled at Mohalakwena, is but one example of the work we are doing to decarbonise our operations and develop new applications for our metals.
Looking ahead, we expect metalline concentrate and refined production to be between 3.6 and 4 million ounces, while unit cost is forecasted to be 16,800 rand and 17,800 rand per PGM ounce. Our capital expenditure of between 22 and 23 billion rand is expected, which includes staying business capital of between 10 and 11 billion rand and future growth investments of 4.4 billion rand. Market fundamentals for our metals remain robust. Our business decisions are guided by our commitment to generate strong returns and meet our strategic objectives. And we continue our work on improving operational performance and drive cost efficiencies across our portfolio. These results demonstrate our commitment to safe, responsible and profitable production and are made possible by the incredible work done by our Platinum team. We look forward to delivering further value to all of our stakeholders in 2023 from this great business.